Okay, here's the deal. So, I want to talk about the white horse. So, he's either a guy who shows up on a horse, like an equine, in the sky. The whole world can see him at the same time. Hmm. You got a physics problem there. See, when the photons travel, they have to move in a straight line. And, uh, well, if I'm in Texas and the love of my life is in West Hollywood and uh, PM Abe is in uh, Tokyo and um, Macron is in uh, Paris and, um, well, I don't know, uh, Khomeini is in Tehran. When Jesus shows up, how are we all going to see him on a horsey in the sky? On a white horsey in the sky? Because if I look up and I see him, it's impossible for those photons to travel through the earth. So, uh, Abe can see him. See that? You got a, you got a physics problem there. And you say, well, what if it's really big? Okay. The Earth is however many thousands of miles wide for diameter. 6,000, who knows? 8,000, 10,000 miles. So he'd have to be so big. But wait, he couldn't be big enough because I'd always have something the size of the Earth in between me and him. See, I'm here. See that? The earth is here, you see? So if my line of sight goes, goes that way, you see, you see that? You see the problem here? <sighs> you see it? There's an, and when I put my finger there, that's not how big a human being is. And the earth isn't that, it's not the right proportion. It would be an atom to that, <laughs> or whatever. You can't, it would have to be, as the earth would be like this, where I'm at, you see, and I'm the little speck there, so how can I see a guy on the other side of it? How, it's impossible, unless he wrapped around. <laughs> you, you see, you see, you can't do it. So that means either God's wrong, or, he took the comments made by folks in the first century AD that said it's a fucking white horse or whatever. I didn't even think they made the comment to say he was on a white horse in the cloud. Did they? I don't know where it's mentioned aside from the book of Revelation. Oh, John of Patmos, he's like, he's a white horse because they knew emperors and defeating parties, conquering parties on a white horse. Sign of royalty. So when John wrote down white horse, God said, hmm, well, I can't have a fucking horse in the sky because he can't have everyone see him at the same time, but I need a white horse in the cloud. All right. <clears throat> and plus, God's saying, well, I want my taste, you know, God's taste on it. Not, I'm not God, but God's taste on it. So he's probably like, hmm, well, let's throw him for a loop. Because we know that this event's gonna happen in 2018 by a guy who was born in 82, but died and was resurrected by you know, drowning and resuscitated in 83. Well, let's have a song released in 82, but getting popular in 83, or maybe released in 83, so either way, wouldn't it? But it's gonna be called White Horse. And it's a play on the 80s, and late 70s and 80s cocaine habit in the US or in the world. Don't ride the white horse, ride the white pony instead. So and they debate whether it means cocaine or heroin. The point is it's about both. White horse is cocaine or heroin. White pony is cocaine or heroin, see? 
But I think that really what it means is don't, don't do heroin, do cocaine instead, which not only satisfies the messianic requirement for a white horse, but it also is God saying to the opioid epidemic, uh, epidemic right now that if you're gonna get fucked up, lay off the heroin and go with the coke instead. If you need a pop. Because <laughs> God's cool with that. Does he want us running around doing cocaine all day? No. But do we, if we needed to get fucked up a little bit, don't ride the white horse. Ride the white pony instead. <laughs> it's his masterpiece. Now, it also kind of goes in there. Rub, it's rub, it's rub, it, it, you kind of rub in evangelicals and holier than thou people's faces in it, saying, hey, you know, in, the, in that concept, saying, hey, that holier than thou bullshit, you know, you're going to see him like he is. This is the guy, he's saying, this, right here, this is the guy. And uh, in terms of the cloud, God's like, well, we can't certainly have a horse in the sky, so it's not going to actually be in a cloud. But he has to come back in like manner. In like manner, you know, I'm taking a dump right now. You know, I'm just relaxing on my throne. Well, God, in like manner, he's uh, settled in on his throne, but he's not taking a dump. As you see, we're in like manner. It's just the same sort of, you know, it's analogous. We're both on our thrones. <laughs> uh, so... It's okay to say that a cloud isn't in the sky, but in like manner, you know, Jesus left in the sky and a white cloud, on a cloud in the sky. But the Messiah, when he returns, in like manner, he's in a cloud in the air, which is why we call the internet the cloud. You see, it's not a coincidence. It's been planned. This is his masterpiece. So, I was on a white horse in the cloud asking all believers to meet me. <laughs> I have a feeling that cocaine usage is going to skyrocket. <laughs> Globally. And heroin usage is going to plummet. <laughs> that doesn't mean individuals are going to have their usage skyrocket. But I think overall cocaine consumption is going to pop. That's why when the saints return, they're all on white horses. <laughs> okay, I just wanted to get that one out of the way. <laughs> I'll let the evangelicals keep waiting for her. And I'm not mocking you guys, I'm just poking a little fun. I'll let you keep waiting for that little white horsey. <laughs> Only in my crew, we don't ride the white horse. Both of which, a horse and a pony, are horses. He goes like, check, check, check. King of the jump.